The Los Angeles home where Marilyn Monroe last lived won't be raised after all, after members of the city council voted unanimously to designate it a historic cultural monument. Monroe purchased the home at 12305 West 5th Helena Drive in the Brentwood area for $75,000 in 1962. The star of movies such as Some Like It Hot, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, and The Misfits died of what was officially ruled an overdose at the same residence just six months later. The politician's vote has been long in the making. After the building's owner, Glory of the Snow Trust obtained a permit to demolish the house in September 2023. The council temporarily suspended the permit so it could study the issue further. Committees determined that the property did qualify for historic preservation, but the council's adoption had still been needed. Councilmember Tracy Park, who represents the area where the house sits, said before the vote that members had the opportunity to do what should have been done 60 years ago, according to the Los Angeles Times. Park pledged to introduce a motion regarding the unwanted traffic from tour buses that neighbors had complained about, but she made her overall feelings clear. To lose this piece of history, the only home that Monroe ever owned, would be a devastating blow for historic preservation and for a city where less than 3% of historic designations are associated with women's heritage, Park said. Real estate heiress Brina Milstein, and are you smarter than a fifth grader? Reality TV producer Roy Bank who owned the estate next door, reportedly bought the Monroe house in 2023 for $8.35 million, with the intention of enlarging their own. The couple sued the city in May for the right to go ahead with the demolition, accusing officials of acting unconstitutionally to save a site unworthy of historic preservation. The lawsuit remains unresolved, according to KTLA. Following Wednesday's vote, Milstein and Banks' attorney Peter C., Sheridan told the station that it was part of an unconstitutional and rigged process and alleged that renovations to the property by previous owners that were approved by the city resulted in there being nothing left reflecting Ms. Monroe's brief time there 60 years ago. Tracy Park's actions today and throughout the process, disregarding the interests of her constituents and the facts and merits, demonstrate that no one's home or investment is safe, Sheridan said in the statement, according to KTLA. EW has reached out to Sheridan. Monroe died at just 36, but interest in the actress has continued more than six decades after her death. As just one measure, Forbes ranked her 12th on its latest list of the highest paid dead celebrities. Between October 1, 2022, and September 30, 2023, Monroe's estate had made $10 million on licensing and merchandising deals, Forbes calculated.